Balladus Orcanus. Alrighty guys, Vio here back with the second episode of the Chelsea Manager Career Mode. Now, uh, in the first episode, if you didn't see it, we brought in David Alaba, we've brought in Varane, we've brought in De Siglio, and we've brought in Pogba. So some huge players that we've brought in. Uh, we sent Bertrand Traore out on loan, and Nathan Ake wants to play in the next game, so we'll see if we can fit that in. But we've still got a few more players we want to bring in, and one is Bakali. So we want some cover in the right wing area, or the right sort of right flank area. And uh, Bakali looks like a really good future star. So he's got 90 potential on foothead. So, uh, so FIFA has some sort of upgraded potentials and stuff like that. So I don't know going between those two, but Bakali looks really good. I've seen some vision of him. He looks really solid. But we've got another friendly here. We've still got two friendlies to go. And this one's going to be against Nice. So a cross comes in from De Siglio, actually falls to Willian, and he makes it 1-0 in the 11th minute. So a beautiful start there against Nice. They're always going to be a hard team, but uh, and especially away as well. So, but Edo gets the ball here, and look at that turn of speed. Absolutely ridiculous for like a 32-year-old or something. I think he's 32. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Great finishing, great speed on him still. So if you even want to use him for a year, if you want to buy him off Chelsea or something, very, very good purchase if you want to do that. But the ball comes across here, and they do make it 2-1, right on the stroke of half-time. A little bit unfortunate, but look at the work here from Edo. The pressure on the centre-back, and uses his pace, but unfortunately not going to find a way through. Cuts it back and passes it across to Willian, who tucks it in past the keeper to make it 3-1 in the 64th minute. So a beautiful way to, to continue on in our second friendly here. And look at the strength from Pogba here, and rockets it past into the far corner. And Pogba just scores amazing goals, and of course finishes it with a moonwalk, because he is Pogba. And... Uh, we still get one more chance off a corner here. Sherla with the cross on, whips it in, and it falls to Varane. Absolutely beastie. Good signing, Varane. Going to be huge. I can just see it right now. And it makes it 5-1, and that's how it ends. So we get a 5-1 win in the second friendly for Chelsea. So beautiful start to the season. Still got one more friendly against Freiburg, but we've got a couple of, well, a bit more wheeling and dealing. And we've got uh, our Bacali inquiry. Uh, they say they, oh, sorry. Uh, they want 11 mil for him. But we don't really, we've got another player that we don't really need, so we offer Mikel up, and 4.5 mil I think we go with him. So we'll see if we can get Mikel plus 4.5 mil for Bacali. He looks like a really solid player, and hopefully we can get that there. And this, in the first episode, I had all this transfer stuff sped up times two, but I don't have to do it in this one because the episode is not going to be that long. It's going to be about it's going to be about the same length, but only with the, the normal speed, so it's going to be okay. But uh, we put Van Ginkel on the corner here, crosses it in, and makes it 1-0 after 29 minutes. So it was Nathan Ake, I think, jumping up and getting the, the good leap off the corner. And I don't know what their keeper is doing here. I miss the first tackle, and then I just go sliding in with Van Ginkel, falls to Hazard, and just a nice finesse into the... I don't know what their keeper was doing. It was like they were gifting me a goal. Uh, but I'll take it. 2-0 after after 40 or so minutes, I'll take it. Can't really go wrong. And a beautiful ball through here to Schurler. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper, getting a bit close, but he does manage to get the little dink over the keeper, so a beautiful finish by Sherlock. Makes it 3-0 in the 66th minute, and we've got one more chance, and unfortunately it goes to them. So they've got Schmid on the corner, puts the cross in, and this is a bit of a, a bit of a scrap again. I've been, you know, losing some scrappy, little scrappy plays in, the, in our box, but, you know, whatever. In the 90th minute, I can concede one goal, because that is how it ends. So we'll lose that game 3-1, oh, we win that game 3-1, sorry. Even though they got a goal, it was only a consolation, and we move forward. The Chelsea strain keeps on going. And PSV tr offer our transfer, oh sorry, accept our transfer offer for Zakaria Bakali. So hopefully we can get him in the team. He's only going to be probably a squad rotation player, just because he's young. You know, we, we want to try and bleed him through, but not, you know, not hugely at the start. We've still got like Eden Hazard and a few other players. And uh, Bakali accepts that. He, he's fine being a squad, a squad rotation player. He knows that he's going to get more game time as uh, as the seasons go on and stuff like that. So we get him in. So that's five signings already, I think. So we're going huge. I still want a left centre back if I can get one, just because I want to. Well, I want a main centre back. And I was looking at Nastasic, but they didn't want to sell me him. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to look elsewhere. So uh, I actually do that right now. So one player that I've always sort of looked at looks fairly solid, fairly quick is Mangala. Plays for Porto. Looks amazing. He's a big, strong centre back. Left foot as well, that's why I like left foot left centre backs and right foot right centre backs and he looks absolutely amazing. So we look at Mangala, we'll put an inquiry in for him and they say they want 33.5 million for Mangala. Obviously he's a, a fairly good rated centre back, he's over 80 already and he's only 22. So we're going to have to shell out a bit of money for him. So we put a 20 to 8 mil bid in and see if they accept that. Uh, we don't have too many more players that we can throw at him so... Uh, it looks like Azpilicueta wants to play in the next match, so that's okay. We'll see if we can fit him into the team. 
and this series is absolutely amazing. I'm loving how it's going so far. And as you can see, that Aspilicueta does make it into the team. Lampard gets in as well, and that's a fairly strong squad right there. I love that we've got Pogba and, and Varane, just two beautiful, great signings. And look at the, the pressure again from Eto. Hounds those defenders and actually wins it for himself this time. So gets it and tucks it under the keeper of Hull for the win there. So this is obviously our first match of the season. We want to go huge in this match. And William comes up here, crosses it over to Eto, and nods it home for 2-0 after 41 minutes. So going huge in our first match of the season. That's just what we want. First Premier League match, we want to get off to a good start. Lampard here with the ball over to Willian, keeps it in, puts the cross in, and over to Eto, and makes it. That's his hat trick, I'm pretty sure. Damn, hat trick after 75 minutes. Eto going huge. He's an absolute boss in this game. I love Eto as I get an achievement there. And that's how it ends, guys. We get a 3 0 win over Hull. Eto with all the goals. Absolutely amazing. The guy's a beast. But that's how we want to start off our Premier League start for this season. And as you can see here, Porto accept our transfer offer for Mangala. So that's awesome. We're going to try and get him into the team, and he's going to be our starting centre-back always. He's just an absolute beast. We want to try and get his uh, get his overall up and stuff like that. So we'll see if we can get him into the team. And as you can see, sorry, we've got a transfer offer from Michael Essien. Now, we we reject that because he's going to be our backup centre defensive mid. We did get rid of Ramirez for Pogba, so we still need Michael Essien in the team. So, But look at this. We do have Mangala coming in. He's going to be our starting left centre-back partnering up with Varane. So that's going to be a crazy good center defensive sort of partnership right there. Uh, Mangala and Varane, absolutely amazing. Damn, i got to fix this chair or I'll get a new one. But what can you do? Eden Hazard busting up the right here. Second Premier League game of the season. Over to Lampard, nods it home. Beautiful start to the game here. And Willian puts the ball straight through to Eto. And look at this pace across the, across the flank there. Eto absolutely quick. He's lightning quick. Crosses it over to Willian and puts the header in. Two headers, two goals, 31 minutes in. 2-0 over Aston Villa. And I think that was Willian's shot, if I'm not sure. Might have been Eto's, actually. But De Bruyne gets it here and pulls it across to Pogba. It looks fairly sexy, but it does actually get a deflection. So it made it less sexy when I looked at it on playback. But that's the coolest celebration ever. I don't know how Hazard can lift Pogba and spin him around like that, but what can you do? I look at Pogba's quick feed here, puts Bacali through, and what can Bacali do? He's just going to chip it over the top, and William gets his big noggin on the end of it to make it 4-0 after 90 minutes, and that's how it ends. So two games in, two wins, beautiful way to start the season for Chelsea. Cannot go wrong. I think we might still have some more wheeling and dealing to go, and look at that, we've got a Manchester United match coming up, and that's always going to be a tough one. Man United always seem to... Uh, put up a good fight, but Sherla's out for a, for a little while, and Frank Lampard's out for five days as well, so a couple of injuries coming in early on. Unfortunately, that's not good. But look at this, we go with pretty much the main side right there. Uh, Oscar would probably get in the main side, but we got De Bruyne in, he's a, a worthy replacement. But look at this EA balls crap going on right here. Nani gets the ball, crosses it over in the end to Van Persie and makes it 1-0 after 13 minutes. I could do nothing. Some of those, the, some of the, the, the EA aids, the FIFA aids just gets you at the end. But uh, look at this one, Matter takes the shot, ends up coming back into him and he does a sort of a chipped head up, falling backwards over De Gea. Makes it 1-0 after 15 minutes. A crazy goal, but a good finish by Matter. Not the person you'd think to get a header. Uh, more like this big boy, Mangala, coming in huge. First game against Manchester United, first goal for Chelsea. 39 minutes in, makes it 2-1, gives us the lead. That's how you want to do it. But uh, Carrick plays Van Persie through, and there's only one thing that's going to happen. Man United get their second goal, makes it 2-2. You can't stop Van Persie when he's on form like this. But uh, Eto does get played through. We get another chance. And the beautiful cut inside completely does the two defenders and rockets it to the near post of David De Gea. Makes it 3-2 after 70 minutes. And it's all about trying to hold on now. But uh, Kago gets the long ball, and it's just like, what can you do to this? Van Persie gets on the end of it, makes it 3-all. You just can't do anything when it's like this. When you play against Man United and stuff like that, it's just like, they're, they're going to score no matter what. It's just something that happens. And look at this, Valencia gets the ball here. Terrible closing down, and Rooney gets it, but it ends up going to Fellaini with the diving header. Makes it 4-3. I was really annoyed by that point. Uh, squandering a 3-2 lead and not even drawing the game. I completely lost the game. And the Chelsea board's a little bit disappointed about the result. And I am too, because I really wanted to win that one. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, it's just, when you play Manchester United, you can't expect to win win every game. And I'm looking for some more cover across the left flank now. So we've got uh, four defenders. We've got a centre defensive mid. 
and we've got Bacali as well, and we just want a, want a new sort of little bit of cover on the left side. So we look at uh, Victor Fisher, plays for Ajax, nice young player, a uh, loan deal here for Jamal Blackman. He's a 19-year-old goalkeeper. He goes out on loan, so that's good. Uh, and they want 8.5 mil for Victor Fisher, and we've got that money because we are Chelsea. So <laughs> we're okay at this point. <clears throat> Sorry, he's got a swallow. And we just want uh, we just put in a 7.5 mil bid for Victor Fisher, a little bit less than what they were asking, but we'll try and get some, uh, get some deals done. And uh, we've got a couple of offers here. So one for Gary Cahill, and he's honestly not going to get too much game time because we've got Varane, we've got Ake, we've got Mangala, we've got David Luiz. So we put a 20 mil counter offer in here just to try and get some money off Everton if they really do want him. And we've got a we've got a nice on loan here for Kenneth Omaruo. He actually looks like a fairly solid right back. Uh, he played in that first uh, the first friendly in that last episode. If you didn't actually see that one, and the transfer offer is accepted for Victor Fisher. So hopefully we can get this guy into the team and make him just a rotation player and we might get him some game time and see how he goes. He looks like a, a fairly solid player. Ajax and, and um, Ajax and PSV and all that, all those Dutch Dutch sides, they're bringing in some beautiful young players. So I don't know what's in the water over there in Netherlands, but they're doing it well. And another bid here for Everton, they come back, but we say, no, we want to stick firm at 20 mil. So uh, Victor Fischer does end up accepting his contract, so we get him in the team. So now we've got Bacali and Victor Fischer, some more, uh, some more ammunition on the flanks. And now we're down to de transfer deadline day, and after this, that's pretty much how this episode will end. I don't think there's another game at the end of this one. Uh, so we'll just go through this. So we've got what we've brought in. We've brought in the right back to Siglio. We've brought in the right centre back, Varane. We've brought in the left centre back. As you can see here, we've spent 116 mil on players in this transfer window. It's a lot of money. But we've sold 20 or something mil. We've brought in the left centre back, Mangala. We've brought in the left back, Alaba. We've brought in Pogba, the centre defensive mid, and we brought in Bakali and Victor Fischer on the two flanks. So that's what we've got to do. And that is pretty much going to end the episode, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. As always, in this, we'll watch, keep watching at the end of this episode because I will do the goal of the month. And hopefully we can enjoy this goal. It's a, a decent goal. We'll see if you can actually see if you picked it out out of all the goals. And yeah, we'll be back very shortly with another episode. Um, enjoying it. I'm sort of doing one day FIFA, one day Battlefield, just because those games I'm playing a lot. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Vio, and peace. David De Bruyne. Opportunity for Chelsea. Great chance. Oh, and he's got it up and over the goalkeeper, and he scores!